The first step will be to hire an executive director for the initiative. Uh, this, is a, this is a function of the trustees. And so it's an entity outside the College of Education that's working in cooperation, in collaboration with the college. So it'll have its own executive director that will report to the Trustees Education Initiative Board, of which I'm a member. Um, that will be really one of the first things we do and get some staff people in place because the data analytics and all of the demands of, of uh, creating the logistics around this program for faculty uh, in the K-12 system, in the College of Education, and in the university and uh, the stakeholder groups that will be involved in the strategic planning, that's going to take a lot of administrative effort. And I still have to be dean of the College of Education. <laughs> so that will be the first thing, to get our executive director. The next will be to create a strategic planning committee that will represent the stakeholder groups who have an interest in education. And we'll have people on that committee uh, who will be representative of that stakeholder group. Uh, then we will create subcommittees around the programs that we're going to that we're going to uh, look at for upgrading to preeminent status. So programs that are in place like special education, uh, elementary education, secondary education, school leadership. Uh, preparation, those kinds of programs, uh, counselor preparation. All those programs then will have a, a subcommittee group that will represent the stakeholders in that area, say elementary. Area. Those, that group will be a fairly small group, probably five to six people. We will hire a, uh, a researcher to go with them on visits to the nation's best uh, elementary education programs and there will be another group that goes out and visits the very best school leadership programs in the country and they will be charged to go out and learn about these programs, gather data, gather information about how they do it, what they have in it, what their practices are, bring that all back. The researcher will help them then create the analytics and the report and the preliminary recommendations. Those preliminary recommendations then will be fed back to the strategic planning committee that will vet them. Uh, once they're satisfied that we have the right set of recommendations at the level of the Strategic Planning Committee, it will be passed off to a national advisory panel that will be made up of preeminent educators and educational leaders in the nation. We'll take a look at what we're recommending and give their input to it. Once that's done, the Strategic Planning Committee will then create a finalized list of best practices and programmatic components that will be forwarded to the Trustees Education Initiative Board for their consideration and action. If they approve that, then those will be recommended back to the college, of course with the college's participation in the whole process, to implement. And then we'll create a rollout schedule of which programs will be queued up first and over about a seven to ten year period we'll be rolling out new programs with the best program components and practices we know in the nation.